Hello and welcome back, this is Steve of Bucks Coins and welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at a coin that's come from the um, British Antarctic Territories. We have the Queen Elizabeth's portrait on this side. It's a cupra nickel coin, 8 grams in weight, 27.3, so it's a standard 50p basically. But the, min the issue limit is 1,950. Now that doesn't mean to say there's only 1950 of this particular coin around, it means to say it's 1950 in this particular packaging. Now I don't know whether this coin has been released as a um, coin that will be available in your change or in release into circulation. However, you may have seen on the name Jacques Cousteau and we've also got 25 in this corner. The reason is that 25 years ago, Jack Kirsto passed on. I remember from the 70s, when I was a kid, watching his TV series and marvelling at the what you get on the uh, you know, under the sea. I'd never experienced anything quite like it. David Attenborough, who is a fantastic naturalist, hadn't done an under the sea type of um, TV program like this guy did. Every every one that he did, he did um, from the ship, which I believe was called the Calypso, and he used to watch it and sailing into the area and then they would be doing surveys and all the rest of it and they'd go down and they would dive and you would see the animals of that area or the underwater animals of that area. It could be sharks, it could be jellyfish, it could be other types of fish, it could be squid, manta rays, stingrays, you know, there was all sorts of things that this, these people brought to me as an impressionable teenager. It was wonderful to see it because there had been no program before uh, Cousteau and the Calypso that had attempted to show the myriad of stuff that was underwater that you could, you could see in the experience. And it made up a big part of my early teenage years with this particular program. It ran for quite a few years, I'm not sure how many altogether, but I do remember that. I remember that he had, I believe he had a couple of sons or a couple of children that worked with him on the Calypso as well. And he was probably, alongside Attenborough, one of the people who brought the problems that the creatures under the sea um, were experiencing and the how to they needed to protecting. Um, Attenborough, uh, David Attenborough was doing it very much on land-based creatures, although he went on to do Under the Sea and such like series uh, later on. But Cousteau was the first one who I remember doing an underwater one, uh, underwater and seeing and bringing the, the fantastic life that was in various different seas to our TV screen and I was fascinated by it. Uh, so this coin when I saw it I thought I've got to have it. The coin itself shows a balloon above a ship with the ocean behind it. So you've got the ocean here which is this ripple type effect. You've got the um, the boat there and this is a balloon. I presume the balloon is something like a weather balloon. Let me just, uh, I just want to see, there is some writing at the bottom and unfortunately my eyesight isn't fantastic so if you just give me a second. Okay, it's actually what it is on the bottom there, not, I thought it might be the name of the ship, but it's not, it's just, it just says 50 pence. The balloon 
I don't remember an awful lot about these type of balloons being on the ship. But I presume that the fact that it's on the coin, there's uh, some uh, reason it was there. Perhaps, I, I believe he did do a lot of uh, weather weather observations, so whether that's to do with that, the particular uh, that particular part of the program, I don't know. So what do you think of this coin? Do you remember Cousteau and the Eclipso and all these underwater adventures that they had? If you like this coin, give me the thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and you believe I deserve it, I would love to have you along for the rest of my journey through coins, banknotes, uh, collectibles and militaria. And again, that won't cost you anything at all to do it. The review is now over. Tell me what you think in the comments. I would love to read them. And if you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you are buying coins, I hope you can get the coins you want for the price you want to pay. Until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future. From me, thank you and bye bye. Ta da now.